Hola, amigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm your host, Stephen Shaw, but you may know me as at Shashaw. And I'm your host, Dave Korshid, also known as at David K. Piano. Right now, we're giving a quick overview of some techniques used to build this animation. Uh, our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers. Uh, links are available below, so check it out. Mm -hmm. And hey, you could also watch the full process of creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique. So check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or ask in the chat, and we're going to be happy to answer. We've got a lot going on in this You've Got Mail animation. Uh, we'll start out covering a uh, technique for transitioning uh, using CSS variables. Uh, so around, around line 55, uh, we have this universal selector. And we're giving everything um, transition uh, properties based on CSS variables um, with, with some slight defaults. Uh, so what this allows us to do is, is override four specific elements, uh, but also cascade the types of transforms that we want to do. Because in this animation, we have a lot of the same kind of properties being animated. We have the same duration. Uh, being animated, and so we we want we want those to basically trickle trickle down, um, and and so this is a great way to do that. Uh, so uh, we've got a CSS variable for the property that we want to be animated. So opacity, transform, you know, color, whatever, uh, duration. Uh, we're defaulting to zero seconds. We we don't want to we don't want a uh, transition time by default, and we're also doing none uh, there for the transform transition property. And then uh, we can add a delay and a specific ease if, if we want using those CSS variables. So here in our BG element, we've got a, a property uh, for transform and border radius because we're transitioning those things. Uh, and here in the, in the notification element, uh, we've got uh, transform and opacity. And then we're setting the, the duration um, for those and a, and a default ease. And those cascade down to the to the background and the and the header, so that if we do any kind of uh, transitioning on those, it'll it'll start with those as its as its defaults, which is really cool. Uh, you can be a lot more targeted about this. You don't have to do like everything like that, but this can be a, a nice way for especially smaller projects to help coordinate animations and and get uh, get them easily customizable just by changing. Uh, one or two, one or two things. Uh, but if you're interested in learning more about the full technique and how we're actually applying a lot of those transitions using the flip technique, uh, you should go back and check out the full live stream video, uh, and we'll, we'll take a take a deep dive into into all of that. So uh, check that out. 